name's Elizabeth from the blog oldmaplehome.com and on my channel you can expect to join me on many vintage hunting trips at thrift stores, antique malls, flea markets, and more. I also like to bring my mom along sometimes. I hope that you stick around and subscribe. Give this video a like if you love to thrift and you love antiques. In today's video, you're going to be joining me as I do some decorating around our 1800s Victorian home. I just wanted to spruce up some areas, freshen them up a bit, and kind of breathe some new life into them. So I'm starting in my little breakfast room here and working on this really large hutch. I brought in these uh, like window frames that I had thrifted quite a few months ago and I like the height that they added to the top of the hutch So now I'm just trying to balance everything out. I love these time topiaries I will have them linked below for you One thing to note is they do come with black pots and I painted these Next, I'm looking for a spot to place this adorable thrifted print that I had just gotten that day. I think that's what inspired me to uh, move things around in here, but um, I knew I wanted to use her up here. So I'm just using a small little command hook and I'm going to hang her right in the middle of the frame. On this other hutch I have in the same room, this is where I'm going to place that trifold vanity mirror that I had on the other hutch. So I think having just one feature thing on top of this smaller hutch is going to be much more pleasing to the eye. Okay, here we are up in my somewhat messy, <laughs> uh, very cluttered, lots going on up here. Um, like my decor room a lot of this stuff is gonna have to go this summer we're gonna have to have a big yard sale but I am looking for something to put in the middle of that mirror something simple this is like a lot of my spring stuff that we will get out and do a spring decorate video it's getting to the point where I have so much stuff up here that I don't really know what I have anymore, which is not good. But I know I keep my topiaries over here. Maybe I could stick this one in the middle. I was thinking something a little more formal looking, but I think that's about all I have for topiaries, actually. I have that lavender one, but I don't really do purples in that room. This is just a bunch of art and mirrors. Let's see, I also wanted to find like a riser. Um, let's look in here. This is mostly holiday decor, but I do have some 
core decor. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I could use this little stool to use as a riser. That would be cute. Okay. I ended up relocating those DIY French hat boxes into my laundry room. If you like the labels that are on the top, they're actually linked in my Etsy shop. They're just a printable that you use a Mod Podge transfer method with. It's all explained in the Etsy listing, so I'll leave a link for that below. It's now the next day and I'm still working on little areas around the house, adding some new decor to make some uh, just inspiring changes. And I went to my third floor and found this peg rail that I had thrifted quite a long time ago. And I think I finally found the best spot for it. So I am just hanging it here on that blank wall that kind of covers up the side of the fridge. It just needed some texture and some styling here. So I am super happy with how this turned out and that I finally found the perfect place for this thrifted vintage peg rail. Now it's time for the fun part. I get to style the peg rail and I knew I wanted to use this um, very vintage looking apron that I picked up from Target. And here is a recent thrift find that I was really excited to come across. It's this beautiful couch cover that's reversible. You can see the other side there is a more geometric pattern, but this was only $5. And let me show you how I have it styled.
And here is another item that I found at the thrift store that day. And this vintage mirror was only $4. So you know that it was coming home with me. And I also think I found the perfect spot for this. So stay tuned. I'll show you where I put it. For reference, we are actually right across from my refrigerator, the wall that you saw me hang the peg rail on. And I actually had a peg rail, a vertical one, on this wall for a very long time, but I ended up taking it down when I added the other one to the other side of the wall so that they wouldn't compete. But I felt like the wall looked so blank and I was just thrilled that I found that mirror because I think it's the perfect spot for it. I have these vintage grain sacks that I've just had folded up and they're not really being used. So I thought maybe if I got a king size pillow insert that I could just stuff the grain sack with that and use it as kind of a cool looking vintage uh, cushion. And I really like how it looks. These two adorable handmade seat cushions were also at the thrift store that day. So I brought them both home and I paid $5 for the pair. I also ended up bringing in another tufted settee to uh, cozy up our breakfast room a little bit. I'm still testing it out to see if I'm going to keep it or not. Um, I do really like it. It's a linen fabric and kind of a beigey neutral color. So I'll link that down below as well as many of the other things that I can that you saw me decorate with in this video.